god-awful uniforms again. Are we good to go? Since the live stream's live, the video's on. Welcome fans, it's Rivalry Day here at Cochran Stadium in Bowling Green, Ohio. As the woman from up the road, the Toledo Rockets come down to face your Bowling Green State University Falcons. I am Chip Crennan, joining me today is Andrew Everhart. We want to welcome you to the Bowling Green Women's Soccer, either on WBGU Livestream, on YouTube, or on Mixler, presented by the Bowling Green Radio Sports Organizations. The visiting Toledo Rockets come into town with a 4-5-1 conference record and are led by their head coach, T.J. Buckholes. As last year, he led them to the MAC tournament title after winning double overtime against the Falcons. He has never lost to Bowling Green in his tenure as head coach in the four years. They, have also, they are also led by their scoring machine, Hannah Scafaria, the forward out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. She leads the team in goals and points with 13 goals and 27 points. In order for the, for the Rockets to make the MAC tournament this year, they have to win or they have to tie the Falcons today. Meanwhile, now for your Bowling Green Falcons, come, out, come into the game with a MAC record of 9-1-0 and have clinched the number one seed in the tournament. And of course, they are led by their head coach in his second year of the helm, Matt Fannin. He is winless in the I-75 rivalry and looks to change that today. The Falcons are led by goalkeeper Kathleen Duvey, who has a save percentage of .868%, as well as three shutouts. Star forward Erica Hubert will not dress today, so up front they're led by number seven junior Chelsea Washington, who will need to step up in today's game if the Falcons want to win against the Rockets for the first time since 2007. Washington has seven goals and 19 points, both second on the team behind Hubert. So Andrew, what do you think the score will be today? Uh, if I had to take a prediction, I'd say, I think I'll take it back. I think I'll go 2-1. Do one in favor of in favor of Bowling Green. I okay. think the Falcons are going to get it done at home. Uh, you know, Toledo coming into this game, they haven't won in the last four games. They've lost three and tied one. But I think that in terms of the series, I think that they've done very well here at Cochran Field in the past. I think they're going to get a goal past Doobie today. Um, even though Hubert isn't going to dress, like you said. I, I think BG's firepower is just a little bit too much for the Rockets, you know. Yes, I, I agree with that 100%. Uh, not just Hubert. The offense is, is a little injured up front. The Falcons normally run their 3-4-3 in the back with uh, Kennedy, uh, uh, Kennedy, Abbott, and Fricky. Well, three of their top their forwards, or two of their three forwards at the start of the year, Marissa Swindell and Erica Hubert, are not playing today. Uh, but I do think you are correct. I think the Falcons will come up. I think they're going to win 3-1. to one. I think one will get past Duvi. Uh, and then I think uh, senior Laura Buzzelli, who's, who's inserted in the starting lineup with the injury, or with the with Hubert not dressing today, uh, will get a goal, as well as Chelsea Washington picking up a goal. And then I think uh, assist machine Kennedy, Marine Kennedy, uh, the junior from California, uh, will pick up two assists to move nine away from the tying the top uh Tying the most assists in Falcon history. And now for your starting lineups. First for the Rockets, in goal is Madison Perrin. Number five, Lexa Bauer. Number six, Hannah Scafaria. Number eight, Reagan Price. Number nine, Sheridan Buffy. Boofy. Number 11, Betsy Luke. Number 12, Rachel Topolowski. Number 15, Ashton Cassell. Number 18, Alina Sidwell. Number 23, Alex Troy, and rounding it out, number 28, Sophia Lewis. And now for your Bowling Green Falcons in goal, number 33, Kathleen Duvey. On the field, midfielder Jennifer Reyes. Also midfielder, number 5, Nikita Jacob. And also at the midfield, number 7, Chelsea Washington. On defense, number 8, Alexis Fricky. Up top forward, number 9. 
Nikki Cox. Midfielder, number 11, Christian Tavite. Number 12, forward, freshman, Sarah Allen. Number 17, forward, Laura Bazelli. Number 25, center back, defender, Morgan Abbott. And number 26, also on defense from California, number 26, Marine Assist Machine Kennedy. And if you're listening to us on Mixler, we will be right back with the with action as so Andrew, what do you think about Christian Tavet uh, inserting the lineup as well as Lord Bazelli? Normally at the start of the year, you would have uh, would it be it was Swindell with Cox and Hubert up top. Now you only have Cox up top, and now you're going to have Bazelli, Allen, Tavet up top, and Washington. How do you think the Falcons' offense will respond uh, just in this I-75 rivalry? Do you think Toledo will come out with more more energy if it was against, say, another team instead of Bowling Green? Well, I think given the nature of this rivalry, you know, like you said, the Falcons haven't won against Toledo in a very long time. Uh, I think, like I said, just given the nature of the rivalry, I think that they're going to come out and play their best. As we're going to stop here for the national anthem, and we'll come right back. teams start off. The Falcons will be going, I believe it is left to right across your radio dial, and the Toledo will be going right to left on your radio dial. Uh, Falcons wearing their nice orange home uniforms, so Toledo wearing their striped blue and teal blue and light blue uniforms. And the Falcons break are going to break their huddle soon. We'll get into some statistics here. The standings for the MAC, uh, this being the last day of the regular season, uh, Bowling Green has already clinched first seed in second seed uh, clinched I believe is Ball State then you have Ohio then Western Michigan to round out the top four then you have Kent State and f in the fifth spot and then tied for sixth right now before today's matches are Buffalo and Central Michigan and then like I mentioned in order for Toledo to make the tournament they'll have to win or tie the Falcons and then they may even have to play the Falcons again here on Sunday in the MAC corner finals where the Falcons will host the number eight seed no matter what then Missing the tournament this year is Miami and Northern Illinois. Eastern Michigan still in it. Unlikely they will. They have to have a win, and then Akron and Toledo both have to lose in order for Eastern Michigan to win to go come into the postseason picture. As I stand corrected, Toledo will be going left to right, and the Falcons will be going right to left across your radio dials. As Toledo breaks is about to break their huddle. Bowling Green, starting with more experience than normal, uh, the only Falcons that have started every game this year for them are uh, Duvi, Abbott, Fricky, and Kennedy. So the back has been stayed the same and stays the same tonight. Uh, Tevet gets a start over Ruber and Barnes. Uh, Jacob gets a start in the center center defensive mid there. Mm -hmm. uh, Reyes gets to start on the outside. Washington and Cox have started every game. 
Bazelli's been starting since the Swindell injury, and Hubert is not dressing tonight, so therefore Sarah Allen will get the start up top. Like I mentioned, Erica Hubert 30, has 39 career goals in a Falcon uniform. Uh, 52 is the lead by Christy Coops. As Hubert stands second, as I believe the Falcons will have the kickoff in the first half, meaning Toledo has the second half kickoff. And it will be Allen and Tibet and Bazelli up top. And then Reyes on the outside, on our near side towards the press box. And it will be Nikki Cox to kick off. As the cheerleaders are in attendance today, as some other Bowling Green athletes, I see some swim and dive team members. And kicks off. It'll be delivered by Washington to the left corner. Headed out by Sarah Allen. Goes down on her feet. And it'll be a throw in for Toledo deep in their own territory. And the throw, throw in's good. Turned over, Nikita Jacobs gets it. She's going to look to the back center. And it'll go over to, I believe that's Alexis Fricky. And turns it over. Toledo now has a chance for a counterattack. Four on four. Toledo gets the ball to number 23, Alex Troy. And it'll be crossed in. Toledo with an opportunity here. Crossed in a shot attempt. It's going to be blocked by Morgan Abbott. And result in a corner kick for Toledo. Really promising for Toledo getting down there and putting pressure on BG's defense. They do have a very strong defense, but they're going to have to keep pounding and pounding today. And taking the corner kick for Toledo will be Ashton Castle, the 5'5 freshman from Grand Blanc, Michigan. Uh, short corner, it will be deflected. And here comes Tavette. Tavette's, Bowling Green's got a counterattack here as Tavette mishandles the ball, falls down, injures her, looks, she's grasping her left knee as, as referee has yet to stop play. And she's holding in that right knee, and they're going to stop the clock here. This does not look good for the Falcons as they've already lost two members up top. And she's holding her, I want to say her left knee area on the outside. So the, the, the PCL in, uh, could be a possible injury here as both trainers for the Falcons are out onto the field. Like to fight, took a little bit, a little bit too heavy of a touch right there and lost control and just maybe stepped awkwardly. She's obviously in some pain right now. Hopefully it's not anything too serious. As you mentioned, the players that aren't uh, suiting up for BG today, that's already going to hurt them. So hopefully Tavite's able to get up and maybe get back in this game a little bit later. Tavette, the transfer student uh, from University of Northwest Ohio, uh, originally from Oslo, Norway, the junior. She stands five foot three. as it looks as no Falcon is yet to be... Yeah, it looks like maybe Mackenzie Ruber will be coming in for the Falcons uh, for Tevet as Tevet gets stand up and she can barely put any weight on that right leg as the trainer is going to have her walk off and it looks like Ruber will be checking into the game once Tevet can get off the field with 43-37 left in the first half. So minute 23 in, already injuries for the Falcons, which is not a good sign heading into the tournament starting on Sunday. Yeah, Tavite, one of the more experienced players on this team. You know, she comes off the bench, appeared in all 17 games this season. But Ruber is a very skilled player. She's got one goal and one assist on the season. She's definitely no stranger to coming in, in these situations. Yes, if you're just tuning in on Mixler, uh, Falcons have already had some injury, an injury concern here as Christian Tavette uh, checks out of the game a minute 23 in uh, after a Toledo corner kick. Uh, not a good sign here for the Falcons as the Falcons will have a goal kick. Um, as she's starting to walk more gingerly um, towards the her, the sideline, which is a good sign uh, for the Falcons. As a lot of fans have come in, more fans than I would have expected at a 3 o'clock start time, but it is against Toledo Rockets, so you never know what's going to happen. And it is a rematch of last year's MAC championship game. Yes, which the Falcons did sadly lose in double overtime 2-1. to one. Uh, heartbreaking loss for the first year coach Matt Fannin as uh, Fannin goes over to talk to the trainers here to see what Tibet's meanwhile play is underway. Marine Kennedy's going to have some space to take that ball up. She's going to deliver it to Ruber, or not to Ruber, to Allen on the outside. 
Ruber playing the far side out. Reyes still on the near side. Washington's got three. Rockets on her. She'll turn back and get it to Kennedy. Notice that Toledo's been putting a lot of pressure on BG, not only with that last chance, but you can see BG with the ball on their defensive end. Toledo's chasing every person that gets the ball. They want to come out aggressive in this game. As Ruber turns the ball over, center, as Toledo's going to get it into the center, it'll be number 28 in Sophia Lewis. Gets it over to Alex Troy. Troy's going to put this ball up for Doovie. Doovie's going to catch that ball. It'll be... Doobie now with possession, now with control of the game. Fake the throw out to Kennedy. Gets it over to Fricky. And Fricky's going to deliver this ball. Tried to get it to Cox, but Cox misplays that. Or misreads that. And they're going to call a high kick there on, I believe that's Sarah Allen. As Toledo's going to get this kick right at midfield here. Kicks him in the air. It'll be headed. Miscommunication there between Jacobs and Washington as Cox is going to try to get to that first. But Toledo will get to that 50-50 ball. And then turn it right over. Reyes, now with the opportunity, she can save this ball from going inbounds. Or out of bounds. She keeps it inbounds. Jacob to Kennedy. Kennedy drops it back to Abbott. Abbott's going to look, survey the field here, gets it over to Fricky. Side to side they go. And up to Cox. Cox has got some time. She's going to have to dribble this, and she's going to look back to Fricky. Fricky looking over the side to Reyes, but Rack to Allen and then to Fricky, and then Allen mispassed it to Fricky for a Toledo Rocket throw in right at midfield. Bit of a miscommunication there. Swindles a uh, really good BG possession. They had a lot of good passes going on as they're going to get the ball back here and give it away. Uh, here comes Toledo on a five on three, looks like, or five on four now. Toledo's going to cross this ball in. Doobie's going to get to that and catch it. She's maybe going to look right up to Washington, who's got some space, but she will re slow down the play and reset and gets it back to Fricky. Falcons playing their normal 3-4-3. Three, with their three up top, three in the back, and then four in the middle. This will be a throw in here for Bowling Green right at midfield is for Sarah Allen. Or it's going to be Ruber taking the throw in. As Freddie and Frieda are also in attendance, of course, against the Toledo Rockets. Falcons want to bring as much home fans as they can. And Kennedy's got some space here, and she's going to try to deliver it up. Looks to Reyes. She's going to use her left foot, cross this ball into the box for Cox, headed away by Toledo. And they're going to uh, throw in for the Falcons. Of course, they're long throw in opportunities that normally come from Swindell. Uh, so the Falcons not having that option anymore this year. As Kennedy's going to have to retreat here, she's going to look all the way back to Abbott, who's going to then quickly deliver it to Fricky. You notice Toledo still putting the pressure on BG, even when they're in, in their defensive end. That's going to be one of the key things for Bowling Green is their defense today, especially yeah. in the absence of Erica Hubert, their star forward. I agree with that 100%. And also, Toledo also traveling with a bigger roster than most away teams do, uh, have the energy and have the bodies to go 110% in all the plays, while the Falcons only dress, I want to say, 20 to 25 players. The Toledo is, going to, is matching that today. Has turned over. Toledo's got an opportunity here. Miscommunication there. Jacobs takes the ball over. He's going to get it to Abbott, who's going to turn this ball over in a key, sp key spot for Toledo. Toledo's got a chance here. Number 28 in Sophia Lewis is going to mishandle that. It'll be chested down by Cox in Bowling Green half to Sarah Allen. Allen's going to get it back to Cox. Washington calling for it. Washington's going to have to go inside. She's going to look to Bozzelli for the, for the run through, but it will be intercepted there. Kennedy's now in possession with it and gives it to Fricky in the back corner of Falcon territory here as Jacob's creating, Jacob creating that, tri that diamond for the Falcons. Gets it to Washington in the middle. Back to Kennedy, who, who has some space now. 
as he's going to cross midfield. It looks like she's going to get it back to Washington. Washington's going to look upfield to Reyes. Stop blocked. Nice standing tackle there by Toledo. It'll be turned almost right into Laura Bazzelli, and Laura Bazzelli's going to read that ball. Almost blocks that with her head. Washington never quits on that ball, and she's going to try to get to it. Toledo now with a counterattack opportunity here. Has a three-on-three -three coming for Toledo. Toledo's got a cross here. Number six, Hannah Scafaria, the team leader in goals. She has the ball. She's going to try to cross this in. Blocked by Abbott. Corner kick for Toledo. Excellent positioning there. Morgan Abbott putting her hands behind her back. You don't want to risk getting a handball in the 18-yard box because that does mean a penalty. But Toledo, they do get a corner kick out of this. And It'll be Ashton Cassell we'll taking the kick. Up. As a BG cheers. Let's go. Falcons kicks off. Crossed in. Headed into the goal. Toledo gets the goal. That might be either an own goal or a cor or a headed in. They're, Toledo's acting like it'll be a goal for the corner kick. Ashton Cassell might be get credit for this. As we're going to wait for confirmation, Toledo scores two corner kicks, one goal for Toledo. Not a good sign here for the Falcons. Definitely not the way you want to start off the game if you're Matt Fannin's team. Bowling Green, as we've mentioned before, they do not fare well in games in which they can see the first goal. And they will give the goal to the corner kick. The person who took the corner kick in Ashton Cassell, the freshman from Grand Blanc, Michigan. As Falcons with an opportunity. Oh, so close. And I think that was Washington from the, from the top of the box. Had it a beautiful chance there. Just wide. No shot on goal counted for the Falcons. Toledo will have a goal kick. And Falcons setting up. Toledo guarding towards one side. It'll be turned right over to the Falcons and Ruber. Washington's got an opportunity here with some speed. Gets it, tries to get it to Bazzelli. Bazzelli turns back to Cox on the outside. Blocked. Bazzelli cannot get to it. And it'll be a goal kick for Toledo's. The Falcons now applying some pressure. No word on Tevet so far. It looks like she's stretching that right leg on the sideline. Really dangerous possession for the Falcons. You know, she put it right in the middle of the box. Laura Bazzelli missed it, but then the, she also had Sarah Allen trailing behind, just couldn't get to it. And the goalkeeper almost slipped there on that goal kick. Toledo keeps it alive with, from not, from going out of bounds, and then the ball will go out of bounds for a Toledo throw-in. Freddie and Frida joking around there in the stands. Uh, and... It looks like it'll be a, it will be a throw in for Toledo right at midfield. Headed to, by Ruber to Allen, the freshman to freshman. As Allen goes down, foul called. It'll be a free kick for the Falcons. See if they go quickly here. And they're, no, they're going to call a foul on Bowling Green. I was going to say, it looked like Sarah Allen came in behind with the slide tackle and maybe a little bit too aggressive there. So that will be a UT free kick a little bit closer than the midfield line. And delivered. A foul called on Toledo there as Jacob and a, t a member of the Toledo Rockets came in. A yellow card coming. Looks like number 28. 28, Sophia Lewis, will be shown a yellow card here very early in the game. Sophomore from Sacramento, California. Letting her emotions get the best over. That's funny. I didn't even read that. I'm from Sacramento, and uh, and uh, my high school played it. My next door neighbor actually went to the same high school that she did. And number 28, Sophia Lewis, will pick up the yellow card. And they're going to change the goal. Hannah Scafaria, now tied for the league lead in MAC goals with 14, picked up the goal. 
and it'll be 15, number 15, Ashley Cassell with the assist. Bowling Green's now an opportunity here. It's a long throw and opportunity here coming for the Falcons deep into Rocket territory. As the referees probably have some awareness of the rivalry here. Uh, probably calling this game pretty tightly. And Ruber's going to get to that ball. She's going to try to go over and over. And she's going to try to get it to Fricky, but the ball goes astray and out of play for a Toledo Rocket throw in. And the ball be given Toledo's. It'll be another throw in here coming for Toledo. As the Falcon bench starting to now keep their legs loose. Jacob intercepts that throw in. Jacob looks to Bazelli. Bazelli with a nice touch to, to Allen. Falcons got numbers here. Four on three. Bazelli. Bazelli blocked. But the goalie will get to it for a play for the Rockets. I don't know what to call that. Would you either call that a free kick or goal kick or a punt coming? But they never really punt it. But she will punt this ball. It's going to land at midfield. But, but Kennedy's going to get to that ball first. As it's going to be headed, Bazelli with the head, Rockets with the head, and the Rockets get Bazelli now with it. Allen's going to get it to Ruber on the outside. Ruber, Allen trying to run a crossover, gets it over to Allen. Falcons have a chance here. They're going to try to cross this ball in. Allen with a poor touch there, will result in a goal kick for Toledo. And BG is getting it in the UT uh, UT side of the field. They're just not able to. Not able to really put all the pieces together so far. It is somewhat promising for them, seeing that they are at a disadvantage in terms of their offense today. And a goal kick coming here for Toledo. And the ball, 32 minutes now left in the half. And it's going to be Cox called for the foul as both players were grabbing their jerseys. But you, you could clearly see it. The referee got the angle there. And the Falcons called for the foul there. Like you said, we have seen some chippy play early in this game. It is a rivalry game and rematch of the MAC championship game. You got to think that Bowling Green, specifically, not only being down one nil in this game, but they have a chip on their shoulder coming in because they feel like they should have won that game last year. So we'll see how this pans out today. Mm -hmm. And Falcons, of course, last year losing two starters off their team in Winters and Fleek. Fleek missed part of the year, though, with injuries. And the ball's going to go to Bozzelli, but it's going to go out of play for a Falcon throw-in. As it looks like Toledo's going to make a quick sub soon. Number 18 for Toledo signaled something to the bench. And Elena Sidwell might be seeing a sub here coming for Toledo, but Reyes is going to end up with the ball. She's going to look back to Kennedy, who then... Kennedy's going to give it back to Reyes. Reyes is going to look back to Abbott. Toledo is doing a really good job, like you said, of pressuring the ball, going 110%. You almost get the feel that Toledo is managing the pace of this game a lot better. Bowling Green has to play into their game, and it looks like they're struggling night right now with communication and passing. They've got to piece something together, string a few passes together, get some confidence. Meanwhile, Washington will split the defense, tries to get it to Bazzelli, but Bazzelli cannot get to it. Toledo will clear that ball right to Alexis Fricky, who's going to try to get this ball back in. She will to Cox, but right back to Fricky. Fricky then to Ruber. Ruber is going to look to get it off a Toledo member, and the Toledo player trips and falls over the ball. A uh, long throw in there by Ruber. And will be a Toledo throw in. Is they're going to make a substitution here? And it looks like number 25, Abby Dembowski, will check in for number 18, Elena Sidwell. Leaving some, maybe with an injury. We'll keep a close eye on that one as she did signal something to the bench. She does go and talk to their trainer. Meanwhile, Bowling Green with the ball turns it over as Bazelli over to number, I believe that's 15 and Ashton Cassell. Toledo now with a three on four, get into the box. Doovy's got a chance and she will get to that ball first. Morgan Abbott, if you saw right there, did a really good job of shielding the defender away. 
slowing her down, giving Kathleen Doobie some time to get her third save of the game. She's had a lot of work so far early in the game, more so than she has in past ones. And a bad touch there by Jacob makes the Falcons retreat, put the ball back, and Fricky's going to then turn for an opportunity here as she's going to dribble this ball upfield with a rocket on her back. She's going to look to Ruber. Ruber's going to get back that ball. Washington's going to look outside to Kennedy. Kennedy's going to look maybe outside of middle. No, she'll take the ball up. Kennedy with now someone on her. Stops, pulls up, gets it back to Fricky. Falcons... Not very many people in the midfield. Only Washington in the midfield there. As four Falcons pushed up. Now checking to is Cox. Tried to get to that ball. Still be called for the foul. Another risky slide tackle for BG. They got to watch out for that. Either. One of them might get a yellow card like Toledo did earlier in the game. Definitely would not want that to happen. Being down 1-0. It looks like Tavet is walking or running on... Walking or running on the bench stretching out that right knee looking good but meanwhile Toledo now with possession right at midfield they're going to make an overrun Fricky will head that ball to, to stall that but Toledo gets the ball on number 28 Sophia Lewis opportunity here for Toledo no good Falcon goal kick now Falcons defense has been tested early in this game but they are one of the best in the MAC. They've only conceded 11 goals this season, ranking them first. They have eight total shutouts. Certainly one of the Falcons' strengths, and they're going to have to rely on them today. And a controversial call there. Again, some miscommunication between Abbott and Doovey. Had a trailing UT player going for the ball. And Kennedy's going to be with it. And Washington almost trips over the ball there. Almost a turnover there for the Falcons. But the ball will be delivered to Fricky on the run. Good pass there by Abbott. Fricky's going to get the ball off of a Toledo player for a Falcon throw in. Reyes open on the near side of the field. Cox with a Shit, nifty footwork there as Ruber is going to get that ball back to Fricky. Washington's going to check back. Fricky's going to look to Washington, but no play available for her as Toledo is playing very good pressure defense. And Falcon throw in right now. And ball to Bazzelli. Bazzelli back to Fricky. They're trying to get the ball to the other side of the field here, but turned over. Toledo now with. A counterattack coming as it's going to be Abbott taking the ball, slowing it down, dropping it back to Jacob, who drops it back to Kennedy, over to Fricky. Bowling Green committing far more turnovers than than I've seen most of the year. I think Toledo's just getting to getting to them with all the pressure that they're providing. And you start to wonder if Bowling Green, if they feel like they haven't really been in this position a whole lot they're usually used to being up 1-0 2-0 in these types of games and being down 1-0 against a rival like Toledo like you mentioned earlier there's a lot of young players in this game and in uh in spots that Marissa Swindell or Erica Hubert would fill up more more senior players you almost uh wonder if they really don't know what to do and yes the Falcons don't really ha haven't really trailed that much They've only trailed in Mac play, I want to say, for close to five minutes. Uh, even less. Maybe, I think, maybe close to two minutes, actually. They've only trailed for two minutes before this game in Mac play as Reyes will get to this ball with some speed. Slows it down. It's going to look to Bazzelli on the outside. Bazzelli gets over as the ball goes over the Rocket player's head. Bazzelli's going to stop it. And it's going to be a throw in for, T I believe it's going to be for Toledo. As some Toledo fans are saying, good call. As uh, Reyes went for the ball, but it'll be a Toledo throw in deep into their own territory, which could be a problem. Falcons bunched up here. Reyes is it's going to be turned over right to Reyes, who heads it to Allen. Kennedy calling for it in the back. She's This is her spot there. She's going to try to cross this in. No option here. She's going to have to cross the field over to Fricky. 
Turkey's going to get this ball in. And it'll be stopped by Toledo. Maybe it'd have been a handball. But Kennedy's caught. Kennedy's going to have to get back. Washington's going to cover for her. Washington's going to kick that ball back. She's going to look to Abbott as Kennedy was up a little further than she normally goes. Kennedy has to deliver that ball, and she's going to get it to Bazzelli. One touch to Washington. Washington's going to deliver this ball over to Ru Allen on the outside. Toledo's going to get to this ball, and it will be turned over. Ruber turned it right back to Toledo. Into open spaces, Bazzelli. Bazzelli tries to make a nifty touch there. And Fricky will just head it back to Abbott with pressure coming from her left. And Bowling Green has dominated the possession, just not on the scoreboard. There's a nice inside-outside turn there by Sarah Allen. And she'll get the ball over to Ruber on the outside. Ruber's going to cross, try to cross this ball in. Tries to get around the defender. It's going to end up on Fricky's foot. Fricky's going to get this ball into the box. It'll be Bazzelli to Reyes. Reyes saves the ball from going out for now, but she won't. It'll be a Toledo throw-in. Not a goal kick, so good effort there by Reyes to make it a throw-in, not a goal kick, so the Falcons can corner Toledo into their own corner. <laughs> a nice pun there. And Toledo checks two. It'll be turned right to Jennifer Reyes. Reyes to Cox to Washington. Washington's in her sweet spot. Washington's going to rip it. Just high. Washington with a good opportunity there. Probably one of Bowling Green's better opportunities of the game. Substitution coming in. And it looks like Swindell is going to check into the game. For Laura, Laura Bazzelli. And Betsy Luke checking in. In, I believe. No, Betsy Luke checking out. Grace Co Coelho checking in. And Kenny's going to get this ball up. Headed right down to the ground by the Falcons. Handball called on Sarah Allen. Poor touch there. And Pey I stand corrected. Peyton Sullivan checking in for Betsy Luke. as it'll be a free kick here for Toledo in halfway into their own territory. 21 minutes remaining in the first half. One shot and two corner kicks have been for Toledo. And Falcons will get a free kick here right in midfield. It's one nothing Toledo. Midway, just past midway through the first half as a bit's gonna get that ball f through fast. Kennedy's got Three members of the Rockets on her. Gets it back to Abbott, who's going to look immediately to Fricky. A nice ball there. As Fricky's going to have to run onto that. Fricky's going to get this ball to Allen. Free throw, or not free throw. <laughs> throw in for the Falcons. I'm getting in mind for basketball season already. Ten, I want to say it's 10 or 11 days till the Falcons have their first game. And it looks like Gabby McGonis will be McGannis will check in for Sarah Allen shortly. And Falcons going with some fresh legs up top now. Goal kick here for Toledo. This fan gives Sarah Allen a nice high five there. As the goalkeeper again almost slips there. And it'll be Washington ends the scrum with it. Cox to Washington. Washington to Swindell. Swindell inside. Cleared by Toledo. As Bowling Green is going to get a free kick, it looks like. Oh, no. There, it'll be a throw-in. It'll be a throw-in. Reyes gets to Jacob. Checked in. Back to Reyes. Reyes to Jacob. Jacob's going to look to Washington. No, she's going to look to Fricky on the outside. Fricky. Ruber. Fricky's going to cross this ball in too far and off target. Goal kick for Toledo. Toledo substitution here. 
Uh, it looks like it'll be N Natalie Knopf checking in for Alex Troy. Knopf, the senior from DeWitt, Michigan, seeing possibly her last match, last action in a Toledo Rocket uniform. If fa the Falcons can somehow find a way to win the game here. As Reyes is going to come into this ball, gets faked out there. Toledo is going to get to that ball. Reyes with a nice stop there, sliding tackle there. It'll be a Toledo throwing. Good slide tackle by Reyes to break up that momentum for the UT. And Cox creates a turnover. Sundell's got to stay onside. It'll be a throw in for Toledo, though. And turned over. Swindell's got an opportunity to Cox. But tur Swindell turned that over. As the pass was an errant pass there by Swindell. Toledo could get control of this. A nice one-two go. But a ball goes straight and out of bounds. Falcon throw in for Jennifer Reyes. Looks quickly. Maybe to the middle here as Chelsea Washington's unmarked. But Kennedy's going to call her off and take the throw in. Washington's open in the middle. The, can't, the Falcons can't find a way to get her the ball. As she's the playmaker right now for the Falcons. Meanwhile, Fricky Reyes open on the far side. Crossed in. Caught by the goalkeeper, the Rocket goalkeeper. They're going to call a foul. And a card's coming out. It'll be Nikki Cox with the card, the yellow card. With 17-24. That's two yellow cards awarded in the first half. Most yellow cards I've seen all year. Yeah, like we said earlier, a lot of physical play between two teams that really want to get a win today. Nikki Cox, one of the more experienced players on this team, just letting her emotions get the best of her. As Reyes is going to head that ball down. Another miscommunication there is Cox and Reyes both went for it. Abbott, the ball's going to go over Abbott's head, turned over, and Toledo's got the attack going here as a foul's called. And they're not going to call a card here on Rupert. So the Falcons might may have ca caught a break there. It'll be a free kick for the Rockets. And BG so far in this game, their weakness has been getting back on counterattacks. That's where the Rockets have really thrived getting back whenever they have numbers and BG they're just constantly following and trailing and it's not really fared well for them and kicks arms up arms down kicks up it'll be right to the top of the box Reyes will head that right to nobody as Kennedy's gonna get to it Kennedy's gonna follow through and it'll be turned right to Toledo Washington with some nice defense there Drops it back to Reyes. Washington's going to want that ball back eventually. She's going to get it. And Washington's going to make a cut there. A nice foul. A good draw there as Freddie Falcon jumping up from the stands. Wanting a card to come out, but no card's going to come out as that was a clean, a good foul there by Toledo. As... A lot of fans have come out for a 3 o'clock game with 15.45 remaining in the first half. Falcons trail 1-0. And Kennedy's going to get this ball in. It'll be a throw in there for the Falcons. She's going to get this ball in quickly to Morgan Abbott before Toledo can apply some pressure. And she's going to get this ball on the ground, turned over. And a hard foul there by Swindell. Falcons got to be careful here. Referee is calling this game pretty hard. Yeah, we've seen a lot of fouls from both teams, and I think a lot of these are frustration fouls, mainly from the Falcons. You know, they're not able to piece together these passes. Their communication hasn't been the best, and that's one of the biggest reasons why they're down 1-0 right now. You know, they've had promising possessions, but once they get down to the UT side, they're unable to put anything together and ultimately put something in the back of the net. Yes, as meanwhile, Ruber will... Get the ball to Jacob to Washington, the playmaker. Washington counterattack BG. Got to stay on side. 
A nice diving stop there by by one of the f Rockets. It will be turned right back to Bowling Green. Kennedy going to look to the inside. No, she's going to take it. Kennedy's directing traffic there. McGannis misread that, and it will be a goal kick for the Rockets. Marine Kennedy had Jennifer Reyes wide open right here on the near side. I don't know why she didn't pass it to her. Easy pass right there. She had a lot of real estate in front of her. Opted to go to Gabriel Magnianis and just another errant pass for the Falcons that ends up in possession for the Rockets. And the ball's going to hit the ground. Kennedy's got first touch. It'll be a hand. Look, uh, Bowling Green calling for a handball. It'll be a throw in for Toledo coming. And Toledo gets this throw in, headed off by Jennifer Reyes to Washington. Washington right over to Swindell, but turned right to Cox. Cox is going to give that ball to Washington. Washington's got going to use her body to shield that ball off. Goes inside out, turned over right to Toledo, who turns it right back over. Jacob with a nice tackle there. Just another heavy touch by Cox. Give the ball right back to the Rockets. It looks like Toledo is going to be making a substitution coming up for Claire Callahan. Cahalan, chicken for Ash and Cassell. Coming up. Oh, it happened. And Toledo is going to have a throw in here. And turned over. Cox with an opportunity. Cox to Swindell. Back to Cox. Cox is, to, is, is team is team is nowhere to be found but gets it back to Jacob who then gets it to Fricky. Fricky's going to wind up and cross, fake cross this in gets it past and now she's going to cross this ball in. Swindell off the butt of Swindell to Mag McGannis and it looks like Barron and Sophia Barnes will be checking into the game soon As Abbott with a turnover there. Toledo with the on the attack here. And ball's in. Toledo's gonna get to that ball first. Or Bowling Green's gonna get to it first and they'll have to put it out of play for a uh, Toledo throw in. Barron is gonna be coming in, I believe, for oh. Barron comes in for Cox, and Barnes comes in for Ruber. And cleared out by Bowling Green. What? And it's going to be Toledo with the golden opportunity here. Cleared out of play by. And Gabby McGonis. McGainis is going to try to get this ball back for the Falcons. But Toledo's maintaining possession here. And Washington with it. Drops it back to Jacob. Beautifully read there by a Toledo defender. And Baron with, or not Baron, a bit with the head. Turned right back to Toledo. Washington's going to get this ball to, to Kennedy, to Reyes. Reyes going to run an overlap. Is Baron, but right to Jacob. Then I believe that's Fricky. Fricky's going to look to Jacob. Gets it to Jacob. Jacob's going to look to the center to Washington, but Miss Aaron pass there. Toledo gets control and time to dribble up and they will dribble it up. Kennedy heads it right to Jacob, right to Fricky then as well. Fricky, the senior, or the junior, 5'8 junior from Carlton, or from Kentwood, Michigan, the only non-senior on this, on the three starters between, 
Uh, no, she is a senior from Kentwood, Michigan. Uh, she will be. This is her last year as a Falcon. As Kennedy will get to that. Kennedy's going to look to Barron. Barron's got an opportunity to cross this ball in. She will on the first touch. Swindell missed opportunity. Reyes coming in hard. Tries to get that ball back for the Falcons. And Barron's coming in hard with some nice back defense. As Abbott's going to stop that ball from going to Toledo up front. And it'll be Reyes wanting some help up top. As the Falcons have shifted down to a 2 Five three or three five two, I want to say. Three in the back, five in the midfield, and two up top. And it would be McGayonis with it. And Kennedy now with it. She got space. Slito's starting to show some tiring bodies out there. And Kennedy's going to fake pass to Barron. He's got an opportunity here. Kennedy, right between the legs, gets it to Washington. Washington's going to have to pull some magic here. Gets it back to Reyes. Miscommunication there. S doesn't save it. And Matt Fannin looking down. And turned over there. Two Falcons cover. Get to one. Washington has body position on a, on a Toledo member. Advantage. And Swindell's going to have to get to this ball. And the goalie in Maddie Perrin, the sophomore from Pleasant Lake, Michigan, went to Northwest High School with the stop. She's going to punt this ball high in the air. Reyes is going to be the only one there. She's going to head this ball out of bounds, caught by one of the cheerleaders for a Toledo throw in. Toledo still keeping the pressure on BG. BG has made some advances in terms of their offense, but Toledo's still keeping the pressure on them and not letting them get any sort of chance at goal. I think that's one of the things that Matt Fannin and his coaching staff are going to talk about at halftime. Definitely not used to being in this type of position. If they want to come out with a win today, they're going to have to make some changes coming into the second half. Well, last year, a lot of their games were come from behind victories. But not a lot of those this year. As like I said earlier, the Falcons have only trailed before this match maybe two minutes of MAC play. Both teams fighting for it in midfield. Toledo's going to end up with it. And Washington's now going to pressure that ball. Harden. And it'll be headed forward by Abbott. Right to open space. And it's going to be Fricky getting the ball to Barnes. And she's fouled hard. She'll get up. And it looks like Ruby Linton, the true freshman from London, England, will get some playing time here. She'll check in for Reyes at some point. As the ball's going to go to Fricky, back to Abbott. Abbott's going to get this ball in. Try to get it in, but it'll go right to McGannis. And Toledo will also make some substitutions coming. We've got the Falcons uh, trailing one to nothing with five minutes, close, almost five minutes remaining in the first half. A nice inside cut there. An advantage called by Toledo. And it'll be a throw in for the Falcons. Substitutions into the game first for Toledo, number two, Jamie Peters, and the game for number 28, Sophia Lewis. Sophia Lewis, Lewis checking out. Jamie 10, Peters Ruby checking in. Linton, Ruby four, Linton checking in for Jennifer Reyes. Barnes coming over to the near side. And it would be Linton on the far side there. Gets it to Fricky. Fricky with some speed is going to take this ball up. Tries to get it to Swindell. Unsuccessful there. Jacob puts some pressure on. Creates the turnover. Gets it back to Fricky, who drops it back to 
Abbott, who's going to turn it all the way back to Doovy. Doovy's going to look right to Kennedy, and she'll get it there. Kennedy almost mishandles that. Kennedy's going to get this ball across the field to Jacob. With 4.30 remaining in the first half, Falcons trail 1-0. Freaky with the nice touch there. Creates a turnover, Linton. Toledo gets possession. Right between the legs of Linton. And it'll go ball will go out of play for a Toledo throw in. Ruby Linton had Marissa Swindell wide open on the far side. Just another heavy touch for BG that ends up in a Toledo possession. Something that they're going to have to clear up coming into the second half because what they've been doing so far obviously hasn't been working for Matt Fannin's squad. And Barnes making an outside run there. Uh, that's going to be Kennedy getting it to Jacob. Barron open on the far side now. As they're going to look to Kennedy. Who's going to quickly get it to Barron who's got space. Barron Swindell calling for it on the outside. He's going to cut it inside to Barnes. Barnes with a nice inside cut. Barnes puts that shot on. A curve ball caught by the Toledo goalkeeper. In Madison per Perrin for the Falcons' first shot on goal. Sophia Barnes looking for her second goal of the season. It was a little bit optimistic outside of the 18-yard box, but as you saw, Chip, that thing curved right in there and just not enough pace on it to challenge uh, Madison Perrin. heads it down to, gets it to McGeonis, then to Washington, then to Jacob, to Fricky. Falcons count has some momentum here, but they can't seem to get it past the forward core of Toledo as Jacob to a bit to Barron. Barron taking this up. She's looking to Swindell. Swindell is going to get an opportunity here, so won't be able to get to it as the ball will bounce. And goalkeeper for Toledo in Perrin catches that. Another great piece of defense by Sheridan Booth right there. Shielding the attacker away from the goal. Again, Barnes with another header. McGannis needs to get on her. On her. McGannis tries to get to it. Falcon throw in deep in the territory as substitutions coming for the Falcon. Lindsay Spots coming in for Washington. Giving Washington a little breather here before the end of the half. Lindsay Spots, the freshman out of Temperance, Michigan. Not too far from here. Swindell with that long throw is going to almost become a corner kick but the goalkeeper will get to it spots one of the more experienced freshmen on this team has appeared in 13 games this season and the ball got out of bounds Matt Fannin trying to get some fresh legs into the game he realizes that Chelsea Washington is one of his better players and he's going to save her legs for the second half And McGannis gets it, then she'll get it back, and it'll be on the outside is Ruber, or not Ruber, and a foul called hard foul. It was Swindell with the foul there. Be a Toledo free kick with one minute left in the first half. One minute remaining. Falcons trail one nothing. And the ball's off. It'll be foul called on Ruby Linton. And 38 seconds. Toledo taking their time surprisingly. If I was Toledo, I would take this opportunity as a chance to score. But they're slowing down the clock. But now down to 25 seconds. And the ball is going to be skied. Barnes will get to it. Right to a Toledo foot, though. Crossed in to Lin Linton. Ten, Linton's going to try to get this ball up. Eight, but seven, time will just go astray. Six, five, and four, that'll three, be the end of the first half. Two, as one. the Falcons trail one to nothing, heading into halftime. Their first time trailing into halftime since they were at Northwestern. And we'll step aside here. Join the team behind the team.
And you're listening to Bowling Green Women's Soccer, either on the WBGU TV live stream on YouTube or on Mixer, presented by the Bowling Green Radio Sports Organization.
going on with your watch there? Welcome back to Cochran Stadium here in Bowling Green, Ohio. As the Falcons trail the rival, their rival Toledo Rockets by a score of one to nothing after right. the first half. As it looks like Toledo is going to go right to left on your rated uh, Bowling Green going left to right. Uh, the goal score was scored by number six Hannah Scafaria. The assist going to Ashton Cassell, and that happened off a corner kick uh, with. Maybe a four minutes in, but also one minute in, uh, Christian Tavet went down with an apparent knee injury as we're waiting to see if she's going to be starting the second half for the Falcons. As if you're wondering other scores in the MAC, Akron and Buffalo, the Falcons will be playing the A seed. And right now, Akron hones that A seed. And Buff Buffalo and Akron are tied one to one. Toledo is beating Bowling Green one to nothing, and then Central Michigan is up two to nothing against Eastern Michigan, I believe. Yeah, no, Eastern Michigan is up two to nothing at the start of the second half there uh, over Central Michigan. So Eastern Michigan, if Toledo and Akron lose, if Eastern Michigan pulls off the victory, Eastern Michigan would go in and. Central Michigan would hone the eighth spot, I believe. But it looks like, like Tavet will not start. Or she is starting in the second half. So good news there for Falcon fans. Uh, as it's Bazelli, Cox, and Allen up top. Jacob. And Washington in the middle, Reyes and Tvet on the outside, and then the normal back three, Fricky, Kennedy, and Abbott. And then, of course, in goal, you have Kathleen Duvey. And like I mentioned, the Falcons do have maybe some injury problems as Bazelli comes off up the gate. Toledo will maintain possession here as Tvet. Seems to be fresh as her knee is taped up. And the ball will be turned over. Abbott's going to have to deliver it all the way back to Duvi. Duvi's going to deliver this ball right to Jacob, but turned over. Chance here for Toledo. Toledo is off sides on the play. The first off sides call of the Dash for either side, which is fairly surprising. As Bowling Green has had a lot of, I don't know the specific number, but Bowling Green has a lot of off sides calls in the season this year as Bowling Green with possession now Jacob back to Kennedy now on the far side Be Cox did not check to that ball enough it's miscommunication there Toledo got an opportunity here Toledo inside the box defended well by Abbott it would become a goal kick there for the Falcons Morgan Abbott's one of the players that I've really been impressed with on BG. Not not too many of their players have impressed me today, but Morgan Abbott's done a really solid job of keeping that defense together, shielding players away from the ball, and really doing a good job of keeping the Falcons in this game. Yes, and the Falcons in Fricky now with possession. And the ball's going to be delivered. Bazzelli's going to have to get to this, but she won't as Toledo will then get to it Number twenty with number 25, Abby Dembowski. And the ball will go back to the right, the left corner. Toledo's going to clear this ball right to Fricky. And Tavette's grabbing her left knee. Again, as she's probably re injured that knee. Couldn't see what happened there, but Tavette obviously in some pain again. 
you got to think if you're head coach Matt Fan, you have to take her out of the game. You do not want anything to happen to her going into the MAC tournament because she is such such a valuable player and for this team. It looks like Sophia Barnes will be coming off the bench for Tavet. Favoring that left knee again that is taped up from the first half. This time she's not bothered putting any weight on it, and she'll probably go right to the locker room. Substitution into the game for the Falcons will be number 19, Sophia Barnes, for number 11, Kristen Tavite. As injuries are always a scare to see. And if you're just tuning in, Kristen Tavette uh, did injure her knee in the first minute of the game. Uh, went down awkwardly on her left knee and then has just re-aggravated that injury, it looks like. Uh, she's back to putting weight on it again, but if I'm the trainers, I would not have her put weight on that. Uh, two, two significant left knee injuries could be, towards the end of the season, could be six to nine month recovery. Meanwhile, Toledo is going to throw this ball in. And and Reyes, now with it, gets it to Washington. Washington tries to get to Bazzelli, can't do it. Reyes tries to create the turnover there. Want three Falcons combined for the turnover. Falcons ball, Bazzelli. Tries to get back to Washington. Washington's going to end up with it. Washington to Cox. Falcons got a good chance here. Cox, ooh, nutmegs the defender. Cox with the shot. Not enough oomph on it, and it'll be saved by the goalie. And it'll be accounted as a shot on goal for Nikki Cox. Got to wonder what Cox was doing right there. She had Sophia Barnes wide open on the near side, opted for a 35-yard shot. Definitely not a smart, smart decision by her. Headed back. By Jacobs to Abbott, and then back to Doovy, who's got to, to handle this ball. And Jacob is going to get to it. Jacob's going to try to live this Bazzelli. Bazzelli's going to wait for that ball to come to her, then create an inside out turnaround. She's going to be fouled hard. And it'll be a Falcon free kick. Falcons get this ball going fast. Quickly, he has. Fricky to Washington. Washington's got space in the middle. She can launch this. And she'll turn it over, but it goes right to Fricky. Fricky outside to Barnes, and we know Barnes has the foot to cross this ball in. Barnes is going to cross this in right to a Toledo Rocket. Fricky's going to try to save this ball. Fricky's going to take a chance here and cross this in. She will over the Rocket player's head. Allen's got a chance in the box. Stopped by the goalie on her left foot with Sarah Allen. Falcons dominating possession play here in the second half, wanting that goal. And Reyes to Bazzelli. Back to Reyes, directing traffic, gets it to Bazzelli, back to Bazzelli again. Bazzelli gets caught up with a Toledo Rocket. Jacob with a nice tackle there. As Akron has now just taken the lead 2-1 to one over Buffalo. So no matter what, if T Akron wins, they're in, and Toledo's, and Toledo will have to win then. And it's going to be Fricky with a nice touch as someone's got to drop back, and Jacob has dropped back for her. Kennedy with a nice turn there. Kennedy's got a chance there, but turns it right back over. Needs to hustle back. Fal uh, Toledo's got numbers, and Kennedy's going to get get to that ball. She's going to get it outside to Abbott. Who's going to let it go all the way to Duvi? Reyes. Goes inside. Gets it to Abbott, who's going to switch the field here. Gets it to Fricky, who's going to look right away to Sophia Barnes, but going to look maybe right to the middle there is Sarah Allen. Allen's got Washington in the middle. Turned over. Right back to Toledo. A clean play there by Sarah Allen. Allen... Got to get rid of this ball. She's going to get it to Cox. Cox has her head up. Gets it to Washington. Washington, we know, can launch this. She's going to get it into the corner for Reyes. If she can get there, 
Reyes gets there in time. Oh, does not get there in time. It'll be a throw in for Toledo deep in their own territory. BG definitely coming out a little bit more sense of urgency on offense than we saw in the first half of this game. Really promising for them. Haven't been able to put one in the back of the net so far, but we saw earlier Sarah Allen with that close chance up in the box. With her left foot. Meanwhile, the head will go right to Kennedy. Kennedy's going to look to Washington in the middle. Washington's got pressure on her. Look into the middle with Bazzelli. Unsuccessful there. As the goalie for <laughs> Toledo has been busy this, this half. And Madison Perrin. And she's going to get this pun off. Right to Reyes' head. And Bazzelli's just going to lose body position there. And it looks like Toledo's going to have possession here. Toledo playing catch in the back, which is always dangerous, especially with the firepower that Bowling Green has. But Jacobs misplayed that ball. Barnes cannot get to it. Fricky with a nice stop. Get, tries to get it to Barnes, turned over. Fricky with a rare mistake there. Abbott's going to try to get to it. It's blocked by Toledo. Toledo keeps it in. Toledo's got to try to cross this in. No, they're going to go top of the box. As the Toledo player looks looks to be hurt. She's limping off, favoring that right leg. But I guarantee you, once the ball will find her, she'll start running again. And she's still walking it off. Meanwhile, play Toledo with possession here. She tries to walk this off as Toledo keeps going deeper and deeper into Bowling Green territory. Meanwhile, Bowling Green with possession now. Fricky's going to try to take this up, gets it to Washington. Washington's going to use body position and speed there. She's going to tumble, fall, no foul called. Good call there by the referee to not stop play. As Kennedy's going to take that ball away. Bazzelli's got some speed on the outside. Looks like the ref's going to call BG ball deep in UT territory. Didn't expect that. It'll be thrown into Cox. Cox is stuck with it. It'll be a Toledo throw in. And the player who was having a hard time getting up was Toledo's star forward, Hannah Scafaria. So that could be why Toledo doesn't want to take her out right now. Meanwhile, it'll be a Toledo. Toledo gets the ball. Abbott's going to look to Fricky. And she's, Fricky's going to run onto this. And Fricky's going to look to Barnes. Barnes with a nice inside. Poor touch there. Turned over. Allen now playing some defense. As Toledo almost turns that over. Toledo doing a good job of communicating. And the ball's going to be delivered in. Cross. Unsuccessful. Blocked. Washington's p kick was blocked by a member of the Rockets. Rockets maintain possession here. And Falcons trying to get two to Sophia Barnes. Over misplay there by number 15 for Toledo. And Ashton Cassell picking up who picked up the assist. Fricky with the throw in is going to look to Sarah Allen. Goes between her legs. And Barnes is going to end up with it. Turns it over. And number 11 for Toledo to Scafaris. Scafaria. And Toledo's got body position. A foul called on Reyes. Looked like a bit of a weak foul right there. Both players going after the ball. Nothing wrong with a little bit of jostling, but the ref gives UT the benefit of the doubt in a fairly dangerous position. 
Maybe about 25 yards away from the goal. Looks like Reagan Price will spot up to take this one. And and it's going to be short kick. Indecision by UT. And it'll be blocked in, put up in the air. And Duvey is going to look immediately to Barnes, or to Washington, I mean. Washington's got Cox streaking up the right side. She's going to try to get it to Cox. But Toledo will get to it first. Washington's now going to try to pressure on. Toledo doing a really good job of getting rid of the ball before Bowling Green can deflect the pass. Right now Toledo just looks more comfortable than Bowling Green with the ball and without the ball. They know where to go with it, and the people that don't have the ball are getting in good positions. That would be a Bowling Green throw in, Sophia Barnes to take it. It looks like Barron will check in for Jacob. Barnes with a smart play gets it back to Abbott. Abbott gets it to Kennedy. Falcon is trying to switch the field. Turned over. Three on four coming for Toledo. Toledo, it'll be stopped, but Toledo will get to that ball first as they're going to call it off sides. And anyways. It's the second offsides we've seen today on Toledo. Usually BG is the culprit, but BG has had some trouble getting behind the defense to begin with, so. And it's going to be Fricky looking up to Cox. It'll be blocked. And free throw in to Abbott. Back to Fricky. Cox calling for it. Gets it to Barron. Poor touch there by Cox. Barron gets it to Kennedy. Kennedy is going to look back to... Now to Chelsea Washington. Washington to Barron. Barron's wanting to release it. No signs there. Washington's got to get it to Barron. Barron back to Abbott. 32 minutes left in the first half. Falcons trailing one nothing. Barron's got some time. Poor pass there, intercepted by Toledo. And Toledo's got numbers. Four on six. Crossed in off of Barnes. Could it be a corner? It'll be a corner kick for Toledo. And to take it is number, I want to say 28. Looks like Sophia Lewis is going to go down there to take it, the sophomore from Sacramento, California. Got seven assists this season. She's going to try to make it eight. Yes, number 28 is taking the corner kick. And Sophia Lewis has one shot on net. It'll be Duvi is going to dribble, get have problems with it. She's going to wait for the defense to reset. As they're going to look all wide to Jennifer Reyes on the outside, the red shirt senior. And it looks like Allen's got a chance here to Washington. Washington's got it. Washington can't keep it. Great tax, great standing tackle there by Toledo. As Fricky will get to it. Barnes falls down. Toledo now with it. It's going to put it up. And number six, their star forward. And Hannah Scafaria is going to chase after it. But Abbott's going to get there first. Ball to Barron. Barron's got a rocket on her back. Barron to Barnes. Barnes to Fricky. Fricky's got time. I believe that's Bazelli open in the center. Falcons more playing like to play a vertical game, and Toledo's doing a very good job of stopping that game going vertical. Oh. 
Competition into the game for Toledo, number like 23, Alex like Troy for number 15, Ashton Cassell. And Toledo's going to get to that ball. Number 23 in Alex Troy. So they're going to call a foul on Chelsea Washington. As Chelsea Washington kicked the ball away. And number nine is going to take this kick here. Get this ball in. Headed away by Kennedy. Right to Sarah Allen's foot. But no one's up top there. And Falcons look to maybe just pin them into their own zone. But Toledo with some nice passing there can get rid of it. And they're going to call the ball out of play. Toledo throw in. Substitution into the game for Toledo, number 14, Natalie Knopf. In the game for number 25, Abby Dembowski. Abby for Abby. As Dembowski checking out. As Toledo now with possession is going to switch fields. Number 11 in Betsy Lewick. Now with it. Drops it back to number 9, Sharon and Buffy. And turned over. Kennedy gets it to Washington. Washington waits for the ball to come to her. Now Washington goes up with speed. Misread there by Sarah Allen. But takes the ball and she's going to be held up. But no foul called. And it's going to be Cox on the outside. Here we go. Bowling Green's got an opportunity. Cox great in one-on-one -on -one situations. Cox to try to get it to Washington. Both players put their head up. But Barron now with the ball. Barron outside to Barnes. Back to Barron. Barron tries to get. Jennifer Reyes was calling for it. But Barron can't get it to her. She turned it over. As Reyes turns that ball back over to Toledo. And Jacob checking in for Washington. Interesting move by the, by Matt Fannin there. And Swindell checking in for Bazzelli. And Reyes now with it. And it'll be Jacob to Barron. Bowling Green playing with it in the territory of Toledo, but not able to get enough offense in there as Barnes will now go up to the box as that ball is going to be missed past there. It'll be a Falcon throw in. As Reyes is going to kick it right to ba back to Kennedy. Back to Reyes. Reyes on the sideline there. Going to look to Cox in the middle. Red, beautifully red pass there by Toledo. Toledo's got an opportunity here. Stopped by, I believe that was Jacob in the middle. Cox trying to read the play there. Tries to deflect that pass, but doesn't. Abbott's going to get it. Abbott to Barron. Barron looking up. Looks back to Kennedy. And it will be right to Cox in the middle. Cox with 25-40 remaining in the first, second half. Falcons trail 1-0 while out shooting Toledo 3-2. Allen with a nice outside turn. Allen's got an opportunity here. She's going to blow past one defender. Can't get past another. As it's going to be a throw in now for Bowling Green. Deep See, into. BG is trying to string some passes together. Doing a lot better at it. But it just seems like the Rockets are always one step ahead of them. No foul called. As it's going to be Abbott going to get it outside to Fricky. Fricky's known for cross, for crossing that ball in from deep into that zone. Barron's going to look at to Kennedy. Kennedy now is going to look to cross this ball in. Kennedy on her left foot crosses it in deep, and it'll be headed down by Allen into the goal. Falcon goal. No, they're going to say no goal. Oh, they are going to say a goal. 
It'll be Sarah Allen with the goal as the Falcon faithful go crazy. Tie game with 24-51 remaining in the second half. Sarah Allen beats goalie Madison Perrin and the Falcons have tied the game at one. What a great goal it was. The ball just kind of ping-ponged down there inside the six-yard box and Sarah Allen, the freshman from Toronto, getting her second goal of the season. And what a game to get your second goal in. Battle of I-75, you're down 1-0. You set your team even. Bowling Green's got to be feeling really great right now. Meanwhile, Bowling Meanwhile, McGann is checking in for Nikki Cox, getting a breather. Bowling Green goal, scored by number 12, Sarah Allen. And, and Maureen Kennedy. Kennedy does pick up an assist there. Now 10, 10 assists away from the league lead, the team lead in Bowling Green history in assists. It's, it's going to go to Lexus Fricky on the outside. Bowling Green has momentum. Gets it to Gabby and McG McGannis. Barnes back to McGannis. McGannis is going to try to cross this ball in. She does. But right to Toledo. As Bowling Green applying a lot of pressure now as they're used to playing in a game like this. We don't want a replay of what happened last year, though. As Barron is going to get to it. Barron outside to Fricky. Jacob missed touch there. Turned over. Beautifully read there by Fricky. Gab McGowanis is going to get try to get through this. Unsuccessful there. Swindell's going you know, to apply some pressure. So is Barron. Turned over. Toledo now with an opportunity here. And then a call a foul on Barron. As a hard foul there on Hannah Scafaria. Their top scorer. And the kick's in. It'll be chipped in there, headed away by Kennedy. Allen tries to get that going, and it'll be hit off two on three on a lot of defenders that are available for Toledo as the ball's going to be intercepted there on the, cr on the cross there as Barron's going to have a touch there right to Sophia Barnes. Barnes then drops it back to Fricky. Fricky's going to look to Jacob in the middle. Jacob's going to have to look back uh, to Kennedy, but it's going to go intercepted by Abbott. Abbott's going to take it. She's going to look to Reyes, maybe. Allen, with a nice shimmy turn there. And gets it to Barron in the middle. Barron's got someone on her. And Barron with a nice turn there. Gets it to Jacob in the middle. Not a lot of oomph on that ball. It'll go back to Fricky. BG doing a much better job of keeping possession, getting short passes, and most importantly, getting UT to chase. They want to tire this team out. That really hasn't had to chase Bowling Green a whole lot in this game. Well, Gabby, call, Gabby McGinn is calling for it. Gets it to Fricky, then back now to Barnes. Barnes with a nice inside touch. Barnes, another inside touch there, turned over to Toledo. And it'll be Toledo now with possession as they go on the attack. As it's going to be try to get cross in as Reyes comes in to get it back to Kennedy on the outside. Now to Barron. Kennedy's going to deliver this ball right to a Rocket, who's then going to blast it out of the stadium. Definitely not a smart move by the Rockets. Gives BG the ball at the midfield line. Point green with a lot of momentum. You want to keep the ball away from them as much as you can. And if you're Bowling Green, the only thing that you want out of this game is a victory because you want the pride over over their guys in Toledo. Toledo needs to just not lose the game. If they lose, they, they don't advance. But if they tie or win, they they advance, I believe. 
who are in the Akron game against Buffalo is tied for those Toledo fans. Akron is tied with Toledo in the standings. So if both teams tie, Toledo is out. Nice shimmy turn there by Morgan Abbott. Let's will get the ball outside to Fricky. It's going to be Ruber on the on the near side now. Barnes on the far side. But Fricky to to McGeonis. McGeonis doesn't like what she sees. Tries to get it to Ruber, but turned over. And the Falcons get the. The Rockets goalkeeper has to touch it for the first time. Meanwhile, be turned over, but a poor touch there by Ruber. And advantage. And the ball is going to be delivered. It's some beautiful play going on here. In that Buffalo-Akron game, It's there's 18 minutes left. And Gabby McGannis has got to maybe get a chance here. As the ball is just going to be chopped up. McGannis has opportunity here. And this should be a corner kick for the Falcons. Falcons' first corner kick of the game. And it will be a corner kick for the Falcons. And in to take it is assist machine Kennedy. You can see right now Matt Fan strategically putting Chelsea Washington back in the game. One of the players that is known for getting her head on the end of corner kicks and putting it in the back of the net. Smart also, decision by yeah, Fan. So also coming in is so Cox as well comes in as so does Jennifer Reyes. So Reyes is always a good option there coming in. And now Fricky coming in for a short as she's coming uncovered as the up top of the far top of the box. There's two Falcons there. Is Ruber as the ball's gonna be delivered in Kennedy? It'll be Barron to Jacobs over the net. Barron, of course, having the height advantage over any player in the game, standing 5'10. Tallest member of the Falcons. Be a goal kick now for Toledo with 17 25 remaining. And the Falcons. Intercept the pass, but right back to Toledo. But Cox with a nice play there. Gets, creates a turnover, then turns it over herself. And I'd say the Falcons are running off momentum now, still. And they're going to say the ball went out of bounds. Free th or, I'm going to say it again. Throw in for the Falcons. And it's going to get a Washington's foot. Washington's going to get it to Fricky. Washington's going to want that ball back eventually. But Fricky to Ruber. Ruber's going to be clean play. As she looked like she was tripped. But Ruber's going to try to get to that ball. Toledo with it again. Swindell applies the pressure. Gets it right to Jennifer Reyes' head. Miss head there. But Jacob there to re recover it. And a nice play there by Toledo, but turns it over to Abbott. A bit. Back to Fricky. Fricky. In the center to Barron. Barron. Turns, gets it to Jake. Tries to get it to Jacob, but it goes to Kennedy instead. Back to Barron. Barron. To a bit. A bit back to Barron. And then Barron's going to turn. And then look outside to Fricky. Fricky's got space to dribble up the field now. Fricky's going to look. She's looking far side to Cox, but she'll look short to Washington, who tried a fake play there. Washington gets the ball back on her foot. She's held up and falls down. Clearly a foul there, but nothing called on the referee. As Washington's a little slow to get up there. As crossed in, tries to get it to Swindell off the head. But diving save there by the goalie in 
Madison Perrin. 15 minutes remaining in the second half. We're all tied up at one. Shots are four to one in favor of the Falcons. The one shot on goal. Uh, and anyways, it's gonna be Swindell with a chance. Swindell, oh, oh, so close. Marissa Swindell taking that on her left foot, obviously her weaker foot. Not a, a very good angle to take it, but nonetheless takes it and challenges Madison Perrin. And I was saying the only shot on goal for Toledo has gone in. So that's going to hurt Duvies' save percentage stat. But meanwhile, the, ball, the goal kicks up. It will be won by Bowling Green, but turned right back over. It'll be kept by Bowling Green, actually. And it'll be Cox. Tries to get a Swindell. No handball called on either side, as both teams did touch it with their hands. But nothing called. As it'll be Washington create, or Barron creating that turnover. Akron is now taking the lead 3-2. to two, So Toledo needs to... To get the win here and need some help from Buffalo as a foul, a hard foul, nothing called. And it'll be a corner kick. That was a very risky tackle by the Rockets. Looked like the player just got her foot on the end of the ball. She would have missed it. That would have definitely been not only a yellow card, but a penalty kick for the Falcons. And we got a corner kick for Marine Kennedy. Falcons' second corner kick of the game. Obviously going to be looking to get this on the head of Chelsea Washington. Or I'm thinking they're going to aim for the head of Barron. But like I said, Akron took a 3-2 to two lead. So to, no matter what, if Akron wins, they're in. And Toledo's out. Blocked as Kennedy's cross tried to go in. So if I'm Toledo, you need to score. Substitutions into the game for the Rockets, number eight, Reagan Price, and the game's number 22, Peyton Sullivan. Now with the game for the Falcons, number 12, Sarah Allen for number three, Marissa Swindell. I would have kept Swindell in on this case for that long throw in. But they decide to take her out, maybe rest her, noticing that this game won't help or hurt the Falcons. Alexis Fricky waiting for the ref's signal, and she'll throw it into the box. As Barron gets that ball right, and it'll end up on Washington's foot off of a Toledo Rocket. Again, the Rockets need, in order to advance the, to the tournament, the Rockets need a tie or a win and an Akron loss, which does not look like it's going to happen, as Akron is up 3-2 to two now over Buffalo. And too f that ball is going to go too far for Sarah Allen. As Sarah Allen's going to go run after that ball. Try to create the turnover there. Bowling Green hungry. Looking for a goal. With 12 minutes remaining. It'll be Jennifer Reyes now with it. She's going to get to that ball before it goes out of bounds. Reyes goes inside. She's going to cross this on her left foot. But gets it. They're going to call a foul on Reyes. With 11.30 remaining in the second half. Two, or 1-1 one, one score. Also, Eastern Michigan is leading Central Michigan. 2-1, to one, so... I stand corrected. If Central Michigan loses and Toledo wins, to, the only the only way that Toledo can get in now if Akron wins is to get a win, and Eastern Michigan holds on two to one over Central Michigan. And the Rockets bring in some fresh legs. Allen tries to get through, unsuccessful there, as Toledo now with it. And no foul call, both teams were shoving. Both teams want to come up on top in this battle of I-75. Meanwhile, Cent Central Michigan just tied the score against Eastern Michigan, so still the F Toledo does need to 
find a way to to get the win here. They can't settle for a tie. Meanwhile, turned over. Cox being held up. Gets it to Washington. To, Jake, to Allen. Allen's going to look to Jacob. Jacob is going to look to Fricky. Fricky may cross this in here. And she's going to look to short to Cox. Turned right over. And it turns turned over again. But Jacob will lose that. And Toledo will end up with possession with less than 10 minutes left. UT's defense doing a stellar job in crunch time whenever they cannot give up a goal. The Alexis Fricky gave uh, Anna Scafari a little shoulder there. Ref's going to play the advantage as BG will maintain possession. As Kennedy will get it to Barron. Back to Kennedy. Kennedy directing traffic. And it'll be Washington with a nice turn there. Washington gets pressured on her. Gets it outside to Fricky. Fricky's got space. Ruber calling for it. But she's going to look to Cox in the middle. Cox with a nice touch there. Cox to Washington. Washington right down the middle. Washington's got a chance, and it's going to be a penalty kick. Penalty kick for Bowling Green as it's going to be Maureen Kennedy coming in to take the kick. I believe she's three for three on the year. Don't, don't hold me right on that stat, but Bowling Green now with an opportunity to knock Toledo out. As it would not have surprised, I could have, it would not have surprised me if a yellow card would have been called there on Toledo, as that would have a clear breakaway. But it's going to be Kennedy, and you'll either know by the crowd's voice if it's a goal or if it's a save. Okay, so if we score, just leave it like a goal. Meanwhile, it goes in! Maureen Kennedy, top right corner. Four for four on the penalty kick opportunities. Falcons two, Toledo one. The Falcons first lead of the night. And it looks like Toledo is going to be finished with Akron leading three to two and Central Michigan and Eastern Michigan tied up. The Marine Kennedy getting her fourth goal of the season, usually on the other end getting the assist, but the defender from Cypress, California, coming in big when her team needed it most in the battle of I-75. And the Falcons will just play defense now as they've shifted players back now as they've gone from three forwards now down to two. And a great play by Eliza Barron. Gets it to Ruber. Ruber's just going to clear this ball up. And Toledo's got eight minutes and 30. And they're going to call a hard foul. If I'm Chelsea Washington, I don't fight for this. Maybe a little bit of embellishment right there. Looks like Chelsea Washington went straight up for it. But the ref will call a foul. And a nice diving stop there by Doovie. Toledo's got a chance here. and just going to go over the net. A good chance there by Toledo. Toledo very nearly could have tied the game up right there. Doovy on the ground after making a great save, not in position. Rockets unable to put it in the back of the net, just skies it over. They're going to want that one back. Uh, so now if Bowling Green makes a substitution within five minutes, the clock will stop. So that's, I do like that rule here in, in, in college soccer is teams cannot take away the time. Fricky's just going to deliver this ball all the way down. And now the Falcons are playing give away the ball and punt it deep. Some frisky defense there. And Toledo's got to go all offense now as their rest of the, this could be their last game of the season. Goal kick coming. Looks like Toledo will get a sub and Kathleen Doobie's going to take her time with this goal kick as we are under seven minutes in the game now. Falcons up 2-1 to one against their rivals, Toledo. As that took maybe 30 seconds off the clock as Bowling Green's got to be careful here and they're going to stop the clock and... Clock stop, kick is off. And... Jacob is going to clear this up. 
Falcon fans hoping they get the win here for the Isaac Zumba. As Ruber is going to get to it, Fricky's going to get get it get it right to Jacob, who's going to turn it over. Toledo now with possession and calling for it is number 11 in Betsy Luke. She Luke tried some fancy footwork, but unable to get it past Mackenzie Ruber. And a good play there by Abbott to clear it out of play for a throw-in. Six minutes remaining. And Eastern Michigan and Central Michigan are gone to overtime while Akron is holding that 3-2 lead. Now all 11 players for the Falcons are back. Abbott's going to clear this ball high up in the air. It's going to stay in bounds. From Toledo, I let it bounce, control it. But Cox in for pressure. Washington taking away the pass. So is Ruber. He'll be deflected. Uh, it's going to go over at a bit's head. Great play by Kennedy there to not pressure that. Meanwhile, Toledo now with possession at the top of the 18. 28's got it to number six. They're forward, and she's got an opportunity. Abbott's going to clear it on the left foot now as number 15, blocked by the Falcons. And it'll be tipped out of play. Falcon throwing 515 left now. If you're the Falcons, this is the price that you pay for putting so many players back in the defense. Obviously, UT's going to get most of the possession. <laughs> and Cox with a nice let go and lets it go. Tries to get to that ball. And it'll be jumps up, blocks. Failed to block it. Fricky's going to let that ball go out of bounds. Less than five now, so any substitution now for the Falcons stops the clock. Less than five minutes remaining in the Akron game as well. And Toledo now with an opportunity. They can cross this in. Bowling Green all over the ball now. Making it one touch play now for Toledo. Blocked by Washington. Counterattack for the Falcons. Cox is not. And Washington's just going to boot it downfield. Take away 20 to 30 seconds off this clock. Nikki Cox needs to apply the pressure there. Allen's going to apply the pressure. Almost turned over. As that ball is going to be headed out of play by Kennedy. 4-10 left in the Falcon regular season. And Jacob is going to get it all the way back to Kennedy. Kennedy's just going to bomb this downfield. And Cox is going to go down and apply her pressure. As Kennedy's going to head this ball up to Toledo. And it's going to be Reyes now with it. Reyes up to Cox. Back to Reyes. Unsuccessful there. Toledo's got possession now. 3.30 left. And the Falcons turn that ball over. Toledo's got an opportunity. Barron. <laughs> Looked like he committed the foul there. And Washington's going to do a great job and boot this into the corner as a Toledo goalie may pick, may dribble this out. Barron taking her time with this. And it's turned right over to Barron. Barron's going to launch this ball, be blocked, but it'll be picked up by the goalie. It's less than three minutes left. Would not surprise me if, if Barron comes out of the goal here for Toledo. And another turnover right back to her. As that wasted solid 15 seconds off the clock there. Falcons look like they may pick up the first win against Toledo since 2007. Punting it right back to him. And if I'm Toledo, I bring my goalie up. You can't take a loss, otherwise you're out. And Bowling Green holding Toledo to midfield now with 2.10 remaining. And it'll be headed out of play by Abbott. Would not surprise me now if the goalie comes up to half field. See Madison Perrin is checking up a little bit, not quite to midfield. And less than two minutes. And that ball's into the box. 
Ruber's going to let it go out of play for a goal kick. Falcons going to eat up some of this clock, take their time. And it'll be Marine Kennedy smartly. They're going to have not the goalie take the kick just in case a fall happens. If I'm Kennedy, I just get this ball out. And she will line drive this ball right to the foot of Chelsea Washington. Washington's going to try to deliver this in the corner. She's fouled hard. And she's going to run into the Toledo player. She's a tad shaken up. If I'm Fannin, I actually take Washington out of the game right now. With 110 left, you run the injury, you run the risk of her getting furtherly injured as she's grabbing her 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 stomach area. She seems to be okay. Kennedy's just gonna boot this ball up into the corner, and Bowling Green's gonna all retreat. With one minute left in the first in the second half, here we go. Toledo's got him, got one minute to score. And are they going to pull everyone up? But it turned over right to Nikki Cox. Cox to Allen. Allen with a nice turn. Allen with a spin. Two on one for the Falcons. Allen to Washington. Washington. Washington's going to have to cross this ball in. Blocked. Corner kick Falcons. That'll probably do it. <laughs> the referee is deciding not to stop the clock. Marine Kennedy going to the corner, taking her time with this one. Less than 20 seconds left in this one. Nikki Cox going short, but she'll take it. And it'll be headed right into the box. Washington, 10 Seven. seconds. This is not going to be enough. Toledo's got to get rid of this ball. Seven. And it's 6, 5. Seven. That's going to do it. Falcon Three. win. Seven. The first one. time since 2007. The Falcons fo women's soccer team has pulled off for the victory. Over the Rise 75 rival, 2-1 to one is the final score. Falcons 2, Bowling Green 1. And they will end up playing, it looks like they will end up playing Akron in the quarterfinal match. As Akron has, has finished the win over Buffalo, we are just waiting to see if Central Michigan and Eastern Michigan win her. If Eastern Michigan wins, they will play Central Michigan. If Central Michigan wins, they will play Akron. So stay tuned with that. Before we sign off, I would like to say a couple of thank yous. First of all, to my broadcasting partner, Andrew Everhart. Thank you, Chip. As well as the SID for Bowling Green Soccer in Mike Sehan as well as all those listeners on WBGU TV on their live stream YouTube, as well as Mixler. We want to thank you for joining us. Final score today, Falcons 2, Rockets 1. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day. I will let it be known that I predicted the correct score. Two to yes. One. I don't know if I get a Yeah, you're good to go if you want. Toledo season's done. That's true. Ah. No, but we'll, if really Akron won, Akron won. So if if Central Michigan wins, they're an OT right now. 
So it was if Central Michigan, whoever's, if Central Michigan wins or if it's a tie, it's Eastern Michigan has to win and, and they're in. And then we'll play Central. Kicking Akron. Oh no. No, no. kicking Central. All those teams are Toledo's out. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, if Central Michigan wins, we could end up playing Buffalo. I don't need a cheat thingy. They may want to go to the, to the press conference, the debate. I want to go to the interview or not. When you, when you guys interview them. Yeah. Okay. Debating, but I probably won't because I'm freezing. Right. You good? Yeah. You want me to slow us a lot? Uh, yes, please. Before I'm going to go post, so. Before I'm going to go post, so. Mike, my pleasure to be in business. Can you, can you, when you guys help? 